Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. So this is no contact, no filter love messages from your person. So messages from your person's higher self, your person of interest, your specific person, whatever you want to call them, whoever you have a romantic interest in. If you want to know what they're thinking and feeling about you, what they would say to you, this is the reading for you. So um, use your intuition to pick. We've got your three groups here laid out. We're doing you know, pre-shuffled card, cards as well as messages pulled on camera. And so... Um, the timestamps will be in the description box as they always are okay and so let me get started now I'm going to show you I'm gonna let you pick from the romantic fairies here to help you pick this time we've got love language affirmations loving words hold great power that's for group one for group two we've got proposal your romance is about to to evolve and level up I have a feeling that's going to be a popular one. But remember, use your intuition to pick. And if you need help picking, use random.org to help you pick. Or you can watch all three. It doesn't matter. You can watch it for entertainment purposes. You can watch it because it resonates. I intend it resonates. Love language, quality time for group three. Be the witness to each other's lives. So again, timestamps are linked down below. Thanks to everyone who has commented on the videos, liked and subscribed. Please do hit that like button and subscribe. It's free, it does support the channel. And if you comment, then you will be entered, entered to win a free reading from me. Um, if you would ever like a private reading from me, you know, those are video recorded and highly personalized and I do send them by private video link to your email. And so you can order through my email, my website or Wizio and all that info is linked down below. So with that being said, we are getting started with group one. Welcome group one, I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for tuning into your reading. So I was guided to grab my True Love Confessions deck by uh, Encoding Shamanic Peacemaker and I'm gonna put those off to the side because I think that's gonna be the first deck that I pull messages from. Um, by the way, this is a uh, no contact, no filter love messages reading. So for whoever you have on your mind, your love interest, your person of interest, your specific person, whatever you label them, and this is going to be to tune in to them what they would say to you if they had no filter, okay? So um, I went ahead and used my little randomizing system to pull out your card, and the card that we got for you guys is Post Malone Circle. So this did come out in a different group um, in my last upload. And it's coming out again, so if you're guided to, I will link this down below, listen to this song, maybe it's got additional messages for you. Not all of it, or maybe all of it, maybe just part or some. Um, I don't know how this is going to resonate yet, but we will see. And the initial energies that I'm picking up for group one, I'm getting some Leo energy. So you could be a Leo, have it strong in your chart, your person could. It is very much like fifth house energy, maybe you have a predominant fifth house placement or your person does but um, what that basically means though is somebody that like you could be in the entertainment industry or you're a very entertaining person or your person is or somebody is very creative maybe just likes to like to play have fun this could be a very passionate love affair or you know um, there's this energy of socializing and romance and dancing and children just all the things that the fifth house um, represents so uh, if this you know sounds good you can keep watching or if you're just curious keep watching otherwise uh, playlist link down below other groups you can choose but this is what we've got so we're gonna get started the significators I got you guys some significators this time so this can also give us more information so let's look at these for you we actually got for the viewer we got caretaker okay so regardless of your gender or sex this is for you and your person it's the energy we care about and the titles of the card can resonate for you or just one of the keywords some or all but um i generally just get that this is saying you're a, a, a caring person you could be a parent don't have to be um but it is saying like that you're kind, you're loving, you're warm-hearted and compassionate, at least, you know, with regard to this person, right? And it's very nice because we've got the in love card that come out for your person. So um, energies can be switched if it's the other way around, but that's just like a disclaimer. I really do feel like this is your person, love sick, enamored, crushing hard. So if you are like here for somebody that doesn't know you exist, or you're pretty sure that, you know, um, the 
the future of this connection is futile, but you're just curious or bored and watching this video, this, you know, again, you can keep watching it for the entertainment value, but I feel like this is somebody that, uh, if this is your reading truly, then um, you guys care for each other very much. And this person could actually be in love with you or just have tender and or passionate um, feelings for you, okay? And if you were in separation, this person could actually be feeling lovesick for you as well. Whereas it feels like the person one is kind of maybe focused on, you know, their child or their family, um, their, their other interests where they can express themselves in a loving way and sort of like carry out their sort of humanitarian mission. At the very least, this person here is very kind, nurturing. And this person here is just kind of like crushing hard, feeling lustful, feeling the heat, um, and all of those kind of things. So apply it how it resonates. And uh, the card that we got from the um, Romantic Fairies for you guys is Love Language Affirmations. So loving words hold great power. So it's possible that um, you said some things, like person one said something to person two once or does say things to this person that um, have really touched their heart, whether you're aware of this or not. It's, I really am getting this feeling that this person here is very much a caretaker. You know how parents, good parents anyway, know how to talk to their children and affirm them, and make them feel better and to build up their confidence and to make them feel safe and to make them feel warm and, and can talk to them in a loving way to, um, you know, just, um, they know how to talk to them to make them feel good. I feel like this person has done that to this person and that's part of the reason why this person is um, so interested. So your person is so interested in you based on um, the affirmations that you give them and the loving words that you've said to them and maybe you don't realize how powerful those words are maybe you do but that's what's coming out for you okay so I'm scooching these out of the way hopefully there's enough for room I'm using the vice versa deck so the cards that we got for you guys we're doing just a quick spread since this is about messages right um, so the cards that we got from this deck for you guys go ahead and take a look at the image um, this is the page of wands so strong fire sign energy, I believe the page of wands is like a combination of earth and fire. And that's interesting because we do have this earth, this um, earth sign card. Somebody here could have that sword in their chart as well, don't have to, with the two of pentacles. And we've got the knight of wands, which, you know, um, coincidentally or not so coincidentally, is Leo cancer energy. But I was picking up um, cancer energy as well you know when I was shuffling the cards and stuff so um, so what are we seeing here we're seeing there you know I actually feel like this was in reverse sorry guys let me just do that okay just so I can keep it straight <laughs> that's one of the occupational hazards of shuffling off camera but I do that for convenience because the videos like I've said multiple times before get really long and I try to prevent that so with this here though it's saying that there has been some sort of a delay like if this was upright this could show like a message coming in fast like a flirtatious text or some other sort of a message or somebody that's looking to take action towards a connection and with this being in reverse it feels like that's been it's been delayed here so this is the situation delayed communication between the two of you um, there at least you know recently here the situation at present at the viewing time of the viewing of this video is that it's been either some sort of a mix-up here or it's not been the right time for this connection to really get going somebody could be behaving childishly or could have a child that is um uh, i don't want to say getting in the way of the connection but that is taking precedence over this connection and you guys if i do use big words you know <laughs> You're gonna have to um, forgive me. I know that I have an intelligent audience, intelligent audience, so I, I shouldn't have to worry about that, but that, that is how I communicate. That's just always how I've communicated since I was a little girl even. And um, I just think it's because I, I'm not a big talker in general, <laughs> okay? Um, and so I like to get to the point and be efficient with my words when I can. Um, and you know when you use very descriptive words then you can get to the point faster so that's why I do that in case anybody is wondering empathically I picked up that somebody was wondering about that and it's like it's okay calm down so we can all learn a new word here and there and that's fine but back to the reading this is a delayed message not the right time some sort of a mix-up childish behavior lack of commitment here okay that is the situation at present the actions being taken in the connection at present the two of Pentacles Somebody is juggling, trying to balance work home, trying to deal with like work-life balance, okay? 
I feel like this is actually giving me a good feeling um, that you know there's some sort of good fortune occurring here like um, somebody is trying to keep the balls in the air um, it could be you maybe that's why I'm getting a good feeling that you know if you're trying to multitask if you're trying to balance your work at home it might seem like a struggle and everything like that but you're actually doing a very good job and I think that spirit is trying to give you kudos for that if you can see he's got a happy look on his face so if you haven't received like a payoff from these efforts if that resonates with you then you should be receiving that because you're this is a card of good fortune here also can talk about you two your, you and your person of interest working together you guys could work together um, if you don't you would work well together but this is mainly coming across as you know what are the actions being taken the connection if you guys work together or live together then you guys are working as a team you guys are juggling your responsibilities um, you know your person um, might be busy you might be busy right uh, that that could be it that could be what's going on if you guys are not hearing from this person which is probably more likely the case with this blocked communication here it's because you and your person are both juggling responsibilities this can also indicate a choice so if you know it's a third party situation and your person's divided or you are your attention's divided this is talking about you know that being the situation and that continuing to be the the actions being taken in the connection juggling of um, responsibilities juggling of two different things multitasking at least two different things can represent more okay it's also very entertaining energy so like I said so I'm just getting at Leo fifth house energy somebody could work in entertainment or is just like the the class clown or the entertainer of their friends group or something like that coming through um, we've also got the um, knight of wands here so with the knight of wands we are seeing um, Sort of like a transition here. But it's like a delayed transition from growing up from the Page of Wands to the Knight of Wands since we've got these other things that are, are going on, taking precedence. People are, are trying to do a balancing act and like focusing on other things. But um, we would ideally want to see that progression of the Knight of Wands or the Page of Wands to the Knight of Wands because it shows like growth within the connection. With it being here though, I do see that it's, it's in the outcome position. So that tells me that um, things are probably pretty exciting or they're about to get exciting like this is the big message from spirit spirit what does spirit want you to know expect a, expect excitement and change okay this could represent a new man coming into your life or a new masculine uh, maybe this is a newer connection um, and it can also represent you know this person behaving in a different way towards you like so if, if this isn't somebody that's new it's somebody that's like new okay but it does indicate forward movement so even though we've got delay in communication likely due to work home and money interference of some kind or maybe another person we do have um, forward movement forward movement of an exciting kind coming in you know regarding this connection so let's get some messages and if this does sound like you're reading please hit that like button and subscribe it does support the channel leave me a comment down below to be entered in to win a free reading a free reading and I did announce um, this month's free reading winner, so go ahead and check out my, my community page to see more about that. But um, Spirit, what, what messages do we have from this person? If this person had no filter, what is a love message that they would have for group one, please? This, it is no contact, isn't it? Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. I even forgot that this is no contact reading. This was in reverse, so that explains it. Looks like there's going to be contact, though. There's going to be a change regarding no contact. For group one, what would this person say if they had no filter? God, I want a family with you, okay? So, and I wear my mask so tight that you wouldn't believe what I'm really like inside. I did pick up on some childish behavior with this person. Um, so maybe this coming out, the in love card, could take some of you aback like the rest of the reading makes sense but you're like this person doesn't behave lovingly towards me or anything like that it's because this person is wearing a mask they say so there's some sort of a mask but they really do want to have a family with you some of you I feel like already have a child with this person but this person is not um, in your guys's life right now or not playing the role the way that they should be absentee parent that sort of a thing but that's not gonna resonate for everybody so just know bottom line person just like is wearing a mask has deeper feelings for you than they let on for group one what else would their person say I know it's wrong for me to say 
but time apart made me realize these bishes ain't shite, okay? I've got this little blunt deck here and I happen to like it quite a bit. So that's what this is saying for those of you and it's coming right on, coming out right on top of the juggling card. So for those that you know that this person is talking to somebody else or anything like that, the time apart has helped them to realize that um, these other people they've been interacting with don't compare to you basically. They're nothing really. And we've got, you don't even need makeup, you're a rare natural beauty. So this person complimenting you, letting you know that they believe that you are a rare natural beauty. Okay, so very complimentary messages here. I do wanna let you guys know in advance that I will be pulling from the shadow side of my, of my deck, just to get some shadow messages from this person so that it's well balanced. And I don't always, you know, do that. So trigger warning, if you're very sensitive right now, you might want might, might not want to listen to that part. I will let you know in a moment here. Um, and we'll just see what comes out. And again, as always, general reading, just take what resonates, dismiss what doesn't. What else would group one's person say to you? Group one, I love your sharp insights and how you get to the heart of the matter. You know how to make a point. So that is three of swords energy. So you could have actually even made a point to this person that was rather sharply worded or about the separation. And they still loved that because you got to the point. It was kind of interesting. Like I had that little spiel that I said at the beginning about the way that I communicate and that's because I like to get to a point. Um, I was wondering why I was saying that besides just wanting me to say that because empathically I'd picked up that somebody out there was like wondering you know, I try to make my videos as accessible as possible, but I also don't want to sit here over explaining everything all the time either. And the reason why was because your person, they're, they're saying that even if you have said harsh words to them, um, those times when you weren't being lovingly affirmative, they still appreciated that because they respect that you know how to make a point, okay? And we've got, I'm watching and paying close attention to you. I'm making sure everything adds up. I like to know what I'm getting into. Okay, so even though you guys are at a distance, your person is watching and paying close attention to you. They wanna make sure everything adds up with that Page of Swords energy observing you. Okay, I'm gonna get you a couple shadow messages. So fast forward through if you don't want to hear it. Shouldn't be that bad, but you never know. People are sensitive sometimes, I don't know. That one just fell out. Okay, yeah. I just feel like having a wild, sexual, reckless, dirty relationship with you, okay? That's what I'm talking about. So <laughs> this is the deck that just tells it like it is. Like this is the shadow energy of the devil. And it's not an exaggeration. The shadow of the energy of the devil would say that. And we do have two wands cards, the, wand, the page of wands in reverse and the uh, knight of wands who is known as like, can be known as um, the player of the deck or a playboy or anything like that. Um, if this is your message, that shouldn't surprise you or shock you. If it's not and it triggers you, just dismiss it. But um, this is your person. Maybe the way that they have come across to you is that, that, that. That's all they're interested in. And maybe that is and has been all they've been interested in. But we can see that this person has been wearing a mask and they do want something more with you as well. Let's get one more from this deck, please. For group one, because these are no filter, no filter messages. I know I, sh I should respond to you, but I don't know how, okay? So maybe you have reached out to this person and you're waiting for a response from them um, and they're not responding. It's because they don't know how they say, okay? You consume my thoughts. I can see that this person is, and you know, they're very, they're very into you. You are a goddess, and it does feel like they are very into you. And that's pretty obvious from the start. What else would this person say? Two, okay. What on earth did I think about all the time before you? So this person just keeps talking about how you consume their thoughts. What do they think about before you? I love your crazy side and how you aren't afraid to show it. You're, you're sexy and exciting to me. I do feel like 
yeah, with this outcome being the Knight of Wands, you're in for an exciting change. You guys, if you are no contact, then, you know, this can only mean that you're going to be back in contact. And for some of you, that's going to mean physically in contact. Just know that knights tend to come in and out, so use your own good judgment, especially, you know, based on the history, whatever kind of history that you've had with this person. This person, you know, definitely is going, going to be tempted by you, is tempted by you, thinks you're sexy and exciting. And they're saying they love your crazy side and how you're not afraid to show it. Let's get some more here. From my notes from your beloved deck. Gotta plug my gotta plug my deck, guys. And thanks to those of you who have purchased this deck. I appreciate it. I think it's a great deck. Well balanced. It's real, like JLo says. She's real, this deck's real. Okay, what would group one's person say to them? I'm letting go of the past and I'm ready to act. What is their person going to say? I miss the way you kiss me and I long to hold you. So this person's missing you. They, they are desiring you. They're missing you, they long to hold you. They're letting go of the past, okay? So if, for instance, this person hasn't been available emotionally or because of outside interference, you know, they're saying they're letting that go. But whatever the past represents, like, they want to let that go and come towards you. And I see them coming towards you. I love you unconditionally. What else would this person say? It's time for me to heal now. I think this person has been in need of healing. I think they have lost themselves for a little while. This person has had a lot of growing up to do. Some of them could have been behaving badly due to childhood issues that is not an excuse, but with this coming out in reverse like it did, that is another thing that it can talk about is, um, you know, just like struggling in school. Some of them might even have had a learning disability or a, some learning challenge, not all of them, that and that affects more than just the school environment. That that impacts somebody's uh, self-esteem, sense of self, right? And it affects that the way they interact with the world. And if you have a poor self-concept, then that makes you know everything sort of go in a downward spiral or in, in a direction that you would rather it not go. So I'm just saying, for some of you, that's the case there. Let's get another message from Group One's person. What would they say if they had no filter? If I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. Yeah, exactly. That's basically validating what I was saying. Like whether it was a technical uh, learning disability, some of you could know this person from school or as long as long ago as that. But regardless of what kind of um, learning error error that they have made or have had, you know, they're saying that if they they know better now, basically they're ready to leave the past behind. They're ready to take action. That they know better now, they would have done differently had they known then what they know now. So that means a number of different things. I'm not the same person that you remember. These cards are awesome. <laughs> I just love my cards. And the longer that you do the the cards, you know, the more you realize how magical that they actually are. All you are are the mouthpiece to the cards. They just tell the story themselves. For group one, what else would this person say if they had no fear and no filter, please? Twin flame, this is a divine counterpart connection. So this person might know about the concept of twin flames. And regardless of if you resonate with that term or not, this is um, the energy that we've picked up throughout this entire reading has been in alignment with that concept. But even if it's just an intense connection, um, and we see that it's a very passionate connection with the flame here, wands represent fire, and a flame on this side, you know, you guys definitely have that desire for one another. Forgiveness, forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So that is, they're needing your forgiveness. They think they, vi I think that they have violated your trust and they are needing your forgiveness for this to move forward. Okay. I wanted to get one here from this little deck too, my little makeshift. Um, this sweet existence deck. Get one little nice message from this deck from group one's person please what would they say 
you are growing fatigued, okay? So, this person wants to hypnotize you, evidently, digmatize you is more like it from what I'm getting from the rest of this. Um, so, also, I think maybe this person feels like you do that to them, like you have them um, under your spell. You get a few charms. Yay, I remembered. <laughs> get a few charms, and then we're going to wrap up the reading. For group one, what group one person say for this no contact reading? They had no fear, no filter to, to group one. Okay, so your person could be, or could have been a little bit of a street rat here. They hadn't had their stuff together. They needed to grow up. They could have had a, a rough past, like Aladdin here. And this person is saying they're changing, right? So Aladdin changes. He eventually turns from a street rat into a worthy prince. Um, anyways, not not saying necessarily that's your person, but that's kind of like that's kind of like your person, basically. And um, I believe that the the drawing of, of Aladdin was based on Tom Cruise. Okay, Tom Cruise is a cancer, so there's a cancer energy again. We've got the sparkly chandelier from Beauty and the Beast. So I think this person definitely has optimism that, that they can give something to you of value. Um, maybe they're doing much better for themselves as well. That could be that could be too because we saw that this person is, um, they got things going on financially and, and work-wise. And it looks like they are experiencing some, some good fortune with that Two of Pentacles. Um, it's still early days in terms of like amassing a fortune if that's their if that's their plan, but um, it, it feels it feels like they're optimistic that they can provide something of value, something of value to you, and maybe take you on, out on a date, go dancing with the ooh I want to flail with somebody, um, based off of the Whitney Houston song. So they want to flail with the being, they want to dance with you, and we've got my precious indifferent creature. So this person is watching you, and even if you are being cold or indifferent towards them, they are looking towards you. We've got this um, music symbol here, so maybe somebody is a musician, or you should listen to that song. Could have additional messages or listen to. Um, music in general has something to do with this connection. And then the little message, if I can get it open is it is wise to follow your fir your first choice, okay? So with that, we did see that two of pentacles and that talks about a choice. So that can mean different things for, you know, each of you. Maybe you were, you know, initially this person's first choice and they did not, they did not follow it. You know, maybe they just thought that, you know, they knew that you were the one or somebody that they would end up with in the future but they were not ready. They were not emotionally ready, or they have not been. Still looks like they're growing into that. You were definitely ahead of them emotionally. And um, I think that's just their way of saying like, that yeah, they're following their first choice now, okay? So I've got for you group one. Thank you for tuning in, and I appreciate you guys. Please hit that like button and subscribe. Comment anything down below to be entered in to win a free reading, and I will announce those in a few weeks. Uh, announce that in a few weeks I guess if you'd like a private reading my contact information is down below you can get one through Wizio my email or my website and I will talk to you guys next time I'm going on to group two welcome group two thanks for tuning into your reading so I've got your cards here and I've got your song picked out we're ready to go so the initial energies that I'm picking up for you group two I'm getting some I'm getting some <laughs> I'm getting some some warm energy, let's say, okay, some heat. Um, it's not unlike group one in that sense, except I felt more of a Leo energy for group one. For you, I'm feeling more of like a um, like a Scorpio, Aries energy. So you could have a strong in your chart, your person could, but even if not, this is this energy. I'm also feeling like somebody here is action oriented or really desires to take action. Somebody could be quite impulsive, quite forceful, quite uh, you know, quite brave. Somebody could hear, somebody here could work out a lot, like to work, get excited easily, um, could be really motivated, um, impatient maybe, 
Somebody could be a leader at their job or in their friends group. Um, there's somebody here that's willful and I'm just getting like, like I said, things that would describe Scorpio and Aries, this um, energy of impatience or a little bit of an angry energy too. Um, so let's see what comes out, you guys. The song that came out for me when I randomly selected it, so the card that came out for group two is Sam Smith, Dancing with a Stranger, okay? So I'll try to link that down below. That song could have additional messages for you if you wanna to listen to it. If not, that is cool too. We'll see what else comes out. So um, I got some significators today for you guys. And the cards that come out for you guys are, we've got hipster and single father. So this is a divine masculine deck. That's why there are men on the cards, doesn't matter. Um, we all have masculine and feminine within us. So this can be for any gender. The majority who watch are, are, are feminine anyway. But the card that I got for the majority of you who are the viewers um, is the hipster card. So the title and or the keywords can resonate more, doesn't matter, but this is the energy of one of you. So if the energies are vice versa are switched, switch it around. So what does that mean, the hipster card? It means that you're pretty relaxed, which is kind of contradictory to what I just said, right? You are maybe just feeling the heat from this person or for this person. It could be that you guys are both relaxed individuals except for when it comes to um, certain areas of your life, your ambitions and or um, your sexual desires or, or your drives towards things. Um, but at this time we're getting this kind of, you're just chilling, you could be a gamer, you could be in music, you're just going with the flow, living in the now here. And if that doesn't sound like you very well, it could be your person, but your person is coming across as a single parent here. So they could literally be a single parent or could they could just, um, have these traits of being independent, protective, loving, caretaker, careful, and struggling, okay? So there's that energy. Um, maybe that heat is coming from them. It almost feels like the heat is coming from them because the, you know sometimes with that struggle I was picking up on that Mars energy of like passion and action and desire um, and desire turned inward um, you know and and stuff like that can be can be heat you know it can be um, you know like the things that I already said force heat strength stuff like that anger so even though this person might be a very caring caring individual protective and loving they also have the side to them somebody does take it out resonates that's that, that um, feels a little heated right now and that heat can go one of two ways it feels like go towards anger or it can go towards passion and desire that they can apply towards you or towards their goals or both the um, healing with the fairies card that we got for you guys is proposal your romance is about to to evolve up so somebody here could be receiving a proposal this is a no contact no filter messages from your person reading, but it looks like if you've tuned into this reading, you could be receiving some sort of contact and a literal um, offer or proposal from your person. I don't know, we'll see what comes out. So using the um, last unicorn deck, we're doing situation, action, outcome. Just do a brief little tarot reading before pulling messages. We got the lover's card. Freaking love this card. I will always say how much I love this card. It's my favorite of the lover's cards. This is my favorite lover's card ever. Then we've got the 10 of wands and the five of wands. So wands is fire energy, it's heated. So this, in the five of wands is very much in alignment with what I was picking up on how um, I'm, I'm getting this sort of heated energy. Um, and then, but yet you're coming across as relaxed. Your person's coming, coming across kind of relaxed, except struggling. Um, this would this would epitomize what that means because the Five of Wands is a card of. Um, it can be the card of teasing or a battle of wills. It can be a card. Of, it's 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 passion, but it's also conflict. Okay, so. But let's start with this one here because this is the situation. So some of you could actually be in a partnership or have been in a partnership with this person and maybe you guys have had an argument. It doesn't look like it's a huge serious argument though with that five of wands, okay? It looks like a petty thing where egos can be set aside and things can be healed, you know, that way through compromise. But um, for some of you, it's like you have been in a partnership with this person or this really has potential to be a deep love or it is, or there's really like something here that says partnership, partnership to me. And I feel like, 
for those of you that are not arguing with this person at present, you know, you do feel like kind of a harmonious, sort of happy vibe towards this person and vice versa. There is, this does show mutual caring and mutual attraction. Um, despite, you know, somebody here might be feeling overwhelmed by the love and adoration of the other, okay? Because you can see um, Schmendrick the Magician being smooshed there by this over-arduous, uh, this, this tree. Uh, so somebody could be, but, you know, not everybody. Um, anyway, bottom line, I I'm seeing that this is um, a connection that either has been rewarding, um, but has or it has potential to be rewarding and a partnership in the future here. Um, but it looks like a choice, it could, you know, it could mean that a choice needs to be made as well. But in a love reading, the lovers tend to lean more towards, um, for at least for me for now, right now during this reading, it leans more towards just talking about the feelings being very mutual, which makes sense because you guys, I, I mean, nobody's going to propose to somebody unless they really cared about them and unless they thought that that person really cared about them in return, right? whether it's just an offer of a date or if it's an offer to get married like they people don't extend themselves like that unless there are true feelings and they also don't get this upset unless there are true feelings we've got the ten of wands here so he doesn't look thrilled um, this is an interesting mix of happy and irritated um, so somebody could be overburdening themselves this could be taking place at work or this connection is is a burden or has been maybe that's why the no contact happened maybe the other maybe one felt smothered by the other or work was smothering somebody um, there could have been outside interference with with the five of wands but it could even just simply be that this connection is very deeply felt it already seems like you guys understand that this has serious potential to get serious and um, maybe somebody was feeling like it was more than they could handle, more than they were up for at that time. So that could be why it ended if it ended, but I feel like it's temporary ending, if anything. Um, there's something, though, that you need to pay attention to with regard to that. This is also a card that speaks of, you know, a mature approach being taken to a connection. Somebody taking a responsible attitude. So if somebody was being irresponsible um, towards this connection or not doing their fair share, that could have been the, the reason for the for the conflict or the no contact that I feel is um, needing to be worked out okay so this this is um, somebody really feeling burdened by uh, the lack of a mature approach or lack of responsible attitude towards a connection now it could also talk about the commitment going through a rough time in terms of like um, your partner going through a rough time like maybe you were you were trying to be there for them when they were going through some sort of a tough time or vice versa they were trying to be there for you when you were going through a tough time and then just like the weight of that burden um, created a break in the connection but the main message from spirit that spirit wants you to know is that um, I almost feel like this can be mediated maybe by an older person with that older person standing there above these two but definitely with um, determination you can see how determined her face is um, and so what this is saying is like this card is essentially asking you you know do you want to be right or do you want to be loved okay I'm gonna get all King of Swords on you that's something the King of Swords would say do you want to be right or do you want to be loved um, uh, the, the King of Swords is, is the most great at interpersonal, but he's a good mediator. He's a good judge. It's like this person right here standing there looks like the mediator, the judge trying to mediate you guys. Um, and is if you guys are just, it could have been a case of teasing gone wrong and somebody got their feelings hurt, but it's like, was this, was this actually teasing or was this a battle of wills? Was, was, um, are you guys being playful or is there some sort of meanness or some other kind of issue underneath the surface for those that that resonates with? These are all meanings of that card and that's all that's resonating with the reading here. You know, because there really shouldn't be a loser in a romantic relationship. So whatever this Five of the Wands energy is, this Ten of Wands energy is, there shouldn't be a loser in a relationship, okay? Um, so it, all it's saying really is just to pay careful attention here. So if there's a conflict that you've experienced with this person or will experience in the future and if it has to do with like bumping heads egos getting in the way people not pulling their weight or thinking that the other one's not pulling their weight or um, you know anything of that nature whenever egos are involved just remember this is this is supposed this is somebody that you care about and vice versa and they're supposed to care about you so there shouldn't be there shouldn't be a, like um, 
a one-upsmanship or anything like that. There shouldn't be losers in love. And this is just asking to um, say, you know, it's not all about just being, you know, right or anything like that. Um, somebody could have a problem with being self-righteous or will in the future, okay? So just remember this reading, remember what I'm saying, pay close attention here. What are the motives that you have for your interactions, your part that you play in this, um, any conflicts or stuff like that? And what are the motivations and what do you think is going on behind them if they're the ones that are teasing or doing things that make, you know, you feel that the connection is unbalanced, unfair, or that, you know, they're not talking to you or treating you the way that you want, okay? So... I think that's it for that. So let's get some messages from this person. And if this is resonating, please feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below. If you want to be entered to win um, a free reading from me, then go ahead and leave any comment down below. This is drawn to start with this deck for messages. No contact messages for group two, please. And what would their person say if they had no filter? What would group two's person say if they had no filter? <clears throat> says even though I might not I might have let you believe in us I will never be available to you so lack of availability here so this person could have made you feel like you were their one and only that this was um, you know true love or that there are deep feelings if you were in a partnership with this person and especially if you were in a partnership with this person then they're saying like they let you believe in something that they never had any intention of really following through on, which could be the reason for the conflict, right? So some of you are not um, taking that very seriously or your person is having kind of a, like a careless attitude when they say something like that, okay? What else would this person say to group two? So one day I will go down on one knee and offer you a lifetime of love, okay? So we, that makes more sense with it coming underneath the proposal, but you know, it could be too that, you know, your person is saying these things and, and not meaning them. I do feel like this could be that antagonistic five of wands energy that I talked about a moment ago. If that's, if that's joking or teasing, that's a cruel joke, or it could be sincere. Use your intuition to decide how to take that message. Um, it looks to me like this person is willing to step up. Um, that there is this energy of wanting to go down on one knee and make you an offer of a lifetime. So we did see that your person is an independent type of individual. So they could have started an argument with you to push you away so that they wouldn't have to put in the work on the connection to make it a solid connection. We've got, did you ever notice me gazing over at you while you were getting ready? Damn, I miss those days. So this person is missing you, missing spending that intimate time with you. And we, <laughs> I got myself into some stuff. This is my blunt deck that I like to use, and it's your person saying that they got themselves into some stuff. I wonder what that's about. All right, what else would this person say if they had no filter? Let's seize the day and have fun. I work hard to play harder. That means sex, action, and adventures. So this person saying, you know, that they want to very much that sort of scorpionic, Aries energy that I was talking about. You know, working hard to play hard, wanting adventures, wanting that SEX, wanting those things, feeling passionately about you. One way or the other here. I like living in my ivory tower away from the have-nots. I intend to stay in my comfort zone. So when this person talks about not being available, it's because this person, they want to maintain a distance where they don't have to be uncomfortable. And you know, if you're not ready for relationship or a loving relationship like the lovers can represent, then um, 
you know, that is something that you might say, that I just want to stay away from that. I want to distance myself from that. I like living my ivory tower. Maybe they have money. Maybe they're doing well for themselves. But either way, it's like they're comfortable in their comfort zone. Now, I'm getting ready to pull a couple of, um, of the shadow side of my deck. So if you're feeling especially sensitive or easily triggered today, um, I feel like we already got a couple of triggering or one tr triggering message already, then I would just go ahead and skip past this part, fast forward. Otherwise, this can add um, some depth to the reading. For group two, what would their person say if they had no filter? Okay, I like that you go out of your way for me, but it feels, but it kind of feels like you're trying to buy my love. So whether you're trying to buy this person's love financially or just with like attention or you did do that, you see how I did mention earlier somebody here could have been smothering the other, even if you're just smothering them with your love and you didn't realize it. Um, this person wanted to, didn't want to discourage that because they know how much you care. But at the same time, they were not emotionally available for you to be to do that, okay? And, you know, it could be they were just being suspicious too with this. Like, um, they like what you do for them. They are somebody that's kind of self-centered with that nine there, that nine of pentacles. But they also kind of felt like you were trying to buy them. And I can hear somebody out there. They are trying to buy me. Well, take it how it resonates. General reading. Let's see if we can get one more here. Um, I can't tell you where this is going. I'm so confused by my feelings for you. I think I'm losing my mind. Exactly. That makes sense. This person's confusing me because it's like you can see that this person wants to reach out to you. Looks like they will. Um, they want to have fun with you. <laughs> they want to be with you, but they also don't. They want it to be on their terms, basically. And um, it's like the thing that pushes them away for some of you is the amount of love and affection or what you do for them. But that's also the thing they love about you. So it's like a push-pull dynamic going on here. And so that's not that's not a lot of fun. No wonder some of you are dancing with a stranger or thinking about it with that card and with that song. Another card, please, for group two. What would their person say if they had no filter to group two? The thought of you with someone else drives me crazy. And that dancing with the stranger energy, huh? Look what you made me do. I'm with somebody new. Ooh, baby, baby, I'm dancing with the stranger. So, yeah, they don't, they think about you dancing with the stranger. They don't like that, the idea of that at all. I dream of being reckless. So this person dreams of being reckless. And I feel like for them, being reckless is just coming in and proposing to you like for somebody that is unsure of their heart or confused like this person says they're confused by their feelings for you they definitely have them the feelings are mutual but yet they also are doing this push-pull dynamic with you um for somebody like that you know being reckless is simply just asking you for that date or asking you to forgive them asking to reconcile or asking you to marry them whatever the case may be right depending on who is watching so I just realized I didn't use these cards and I meant to last time that's okay moving on what's next um, let's get these That's what group two's person say if they had no fear no filter it's so nice to see a man or woman who can cook you are one out of a million so delicious so some of you can cook or do some sort of domestic thing that this person is into it's kind of rare in general regardless of if you're a man or a woman for people to um, have any domestic skills some of you do and they love that I get or I love your eyes I get lost in them you always make me smile I love your face so being very complimentary about your eyes, your face, your smile. This person does have some nice things to say to you. Okay. 
else would this person say to group two if they had no filter, please? I lose sleep at night thinking about you and listening for the phone, so wanting to hear from you. I think also they just lose sleep over the connection in general because they probably know that they're being kind of an idiot, sounds like. I'm sending you hidden messages and music. Yeah, the Sam Smith song for one thing, but um, pay attention to any songs that come on the radio or, you know, anything, any songs that remind you of this person because they say that they are sending you hidden messages and music. I don't know if anybody listens to the radio anymore, but I remember we used to call in and do love dedications when I was young. And so maybe that's what they're doing, sending you a love dedication, pump up pump up the volume with Christian Slater. But I something tells me no, it's probably more this person sending you messages, like their higher self is sending you messages. I hide behind material things. Yeah, we can see that. I like to be in my ivory tower away from the have-nots. I intend to stay in my comfort zone. Hide behind material things. So many things remind me of you, yet they can't stop thinking about you. Even though it seems like they feel like it's going to cost them something to be with you. Maybe you're not as well off as they are. Maybe you're just more down to earth than they are. Maybe they just are not emotionally ready for this. What else would this person say? I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. So they're receiving signs about you, group two, and my heart is telling me to just do it. So if they would have listened to their heart, you guys would already be a couple, you might already be married, this person would already, um, you know, have this relationship with you where it's equal give and take and you guys are interacting with one another in, in a good way and not so much, so much of this drama that appears to be here for some of you. But they're not listening to their heart. Also, this person say to group two, please. Healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. And soulmate, your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. With that lover's card, it's hard to deny that this is a soulmate connection. And those of you who follow the channel or just didn't know anything about soulmates, that it's often a complicated relationship. Um, it's not all rainbows, butterflies, and unicorns and happily ever afters like the rom-coms would tell you. And so to me, this, this card actually does make sense. But your soulmate is healing, okay? And um, they do they do love you if that resonates or they have that potential to you know it's here this person has the capacity to love but they need to heal their capacity to love basically so I think that that is all of all for the cards oh wait yeah let's get him real quick Another message from this little so we can end on kind of a lighter note for group two what would their person say if they had no fear no filter heat blaster <laughs> thank you spirit this is getting a little heavy I need that chuckle because I, I opened the reading with I feel the heat right we've got heat blaster the heat level was too great exactly it got too hot in the kitchen so like the saying goes, if it's too hot in the kitchen, get out if you can't handle the heat. So this person couldn't handle the heat of this connection. The heat level was too great. It got too hot. Okay. And somebody here doesn't know how to cook and the other one does, maybe. <laughs> but um, I'm going to get you some charms real quick because I did for group one. And that will be your reading. For group two spirit person say if they had no feeling of okay. Yeah, and I felt like this wanted to come out. Your person could like to wear gold. They're kind of coming across in sort of like a bougie materialistic energy. Um, I like gold too, but you know what I'm saying. Maybe the type that wears thick gold chains, chains or something, the type that has something to prove. 
Uh, also, it does show this person does feel like linked to you, okay? Like this connection is solid. Even if you guys are not together, it feels like to them it is solid. Um, I think they are trying to, they are trying and they are seeing this from a bird's eye view, okay? This person, um, I think they're going to swoop in and, um, and communicate with you. And I think that when they stay up late at night, they are thinking about you, trying to see this from a higher perspective. I don't think they can avoid seeing it from a higher perspective um, unless they're actively trying to because, like they said, they're getting signs about you. Everything reminds them of you. Then we've got Belle here from Beauty and the Beast. So some of you could be Belle. Belle is, um, I think she's queen, queen of Pentacles energy, I believe. I believe she is queen of Pentacles energy. If I'm not mistaken, something like that. Maybe not. But um, yeah, you could be an earth sign. Don't have to be. Then we've got this crown here. So basically this person just feels like, you know, treating you like a queen or that's what you deserve. Maybe that's what you wanted from this person or maybe that's what they think, right? That if they're going to commit to you, they're gonna have to be able to treat you like a queen. They're gonna have to be able to give you everything. Like, um, they're gonna have to be optimistic and enthusiastic about this connection. She's kind of a goody two-shoes. So this person could feel like, you know, they have to be a goody two-shoes too to be with you or, um, you know, vice versa. Like, um, they want you to be more of a goody two-shoes to be with them. Just take it how it resonates. It does have to do though with um, you know, putting down their guards, stop hiding behind material things and being authentic. Got this fish here, somebody could have strong Pisces in their chart. Somebody could just simply like to fish or that could have some sort of other meaning as well. And we've got Namaste. Yeah, I do feel like somebody here is being quite peaceful. You know what, I hate to say it, but maybe when you guys are apart, you are more peaceful. This is a no contact reading. I said peaceful from the beginning, yet there's this energy of heat between the two of you. It's, it's quite an interesting energy. So maybe some of you are really making it a point though, those that resonate with this side, you know, to, to be calm, to be present, to be mindful. Um, because this person, it's, it looks like you have been through, I mean, they're, they're not easy to deal with. I and mean, some of you have actually you know, had an argument with this person or an ending with this person, like, it's been difficult. This says, you have every reason to be confident. It's a little encouragement from your person to be confident or, or encouragement from your guides to be confident. Just for those of you who are feeling less than confident and your honesty will be met with gratitude tomorrow. So it's like, yeah, you have been an honest person. For those that resonates with Maybe you were wondering if you shouldn't have been as honest or could have said things in a less direct way or put things differently. They're saying that you will be rewarded for your honesty, okay? Just keep being honest. Don't think that you need to be less than what you are. Be your confident, abundant self and the right person will rise up to meet you, okay? And love you, you know, for who you are. So that's what I've got for you, group two. Thank you for tuning in. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Comment if you'd like to be entered to win a free reading. If you'd like a private reading, my contact information is in the description. You can reach me through Wizio, my email, or my website to get a, to get a reading. And I'm going to move on to group three. Welcome, group three. Thanks for tuning into your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's so get your cards here. And we've got your song chosen. So I use my randomizer. I came up with the song for you guys. We've got the police. Every little thing she does. I believe that's how it goes. I, I when I first saw it, I thought it was, um, you know, the stalker song. <laughs> okay. Um, so I don't know, but it's um, every little thing she does is magic. So that could have some resonance here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what else comes out in the reading. The initial energy or impression that I'm getting from you or your person is the energy of the boss, okay? We've got Capricorn energy coming through strong here. So you could have it strong in your chart, your person could, but even if not, those traits are like somebody that, like I said, is a boss, ambitious, realistic, down to earth, practical, serious, um, wise, accomplished, kind of a badass. So could be a little bit reserved. Um, most of the Capricorns that I've known have been quite reserved, but, um, this is the energy that I'm getting. So if this doesn't sound like, uh, you know, your guys' energy or the energy of the person that you're here for, 
Oh, feel free to choose another group or check out a playlist linked down below for a different reading. But you know, you can stick around. It could still have, it could still resonate for you, okay? Still watch the reading, even if it doesn't resonate for entertainment purposes, right? But um, uh, we'll see what comes out. We'll see what else comes out. So I got significators here for you and your person. And even though they're men on the cards, they do resonate for females and feminines as well. And we do got the, bo the boss card. So it, again, so let's get indicate that you are the boss, okay? Um, whether you're a man or a woman, again, this is boss energy. And you know, the boss is the key, is the is the title, but any of those keywords can resonate as well. And if the energies are switched, it can be vice versa. But the keywords on here are hardworking, serious, initiator, conservatist, gentleman or gentlewoman, lady, uh, wealthy, and a business person. So that's person one, and then person two, which is likely the the person of interest, your specific person, um, is the admirer. Fantasizing, dreaming, longing, sexual desires, um, yeah, and missing you. And the card that we got from the Romantic Fairies is Love Language Quality Time. Be the witness to each other's lives. So it's interesting because if this wasn't a no contact reading, I would think that you guys were in a relationship. Uh, maybe this is this is future energy that I'm picking up on or past energy, but let's see what comes out I got situation action outcome. So we'll look at that Using the mo the movie tarot We've got the page of swords It's that stalker energy that I was getting so that's a present situation I don't know if you are stalking this person or they're stalking you, but that's there and We say that playfully because that's you know page of swords is is somebody that's observing This is an observant person trying to learn what they can right? And then we've got the Ten of Pentacles. And then we've got the Moon card. Cancerian or Piscean energy. We've got Earth energy here in the middle. So I'm definitely getting that the situation is one of their wants, the communication wants to happen here. Whether it's you wanting to communicate with your person or them, um, them wanting to communicate with you. I definitely get that this person is thinking about branching out. Do you get some anxiety from from this person to do that? Especially if they're in this admirer energy. You know, they're longing for you. That's a disempowered place to be. It's something that leaves us feeling vulnerable. But yet, at the same time, you know, they are anxious to, to reach out. Um, we can't ignore the fact that this is a page. It's not a king. Pages tend to be immature. And this particular page tends to have a detached attitude and be unrealistic. So I feel like that's the situation here, okay? Somebody has a detached attitude, maybe not not ready for, well, for you, for the boss. And if it's not um, you that is the ser more serious one, then it's just somebody has unrealistic expectations that a relationship should mean 10 of pentacles. It should mean, um, you know, abundance financially as well as like, Emotionally, it should mean like an empire together. It should mean something big, something grand, something really solid. Um, not everybody can achieve the Ten of Pentacles. Yet this little page of swords is wanting that, okay? So what this is saying, like in terms of actions occurring, you know, with you and your person, as individuals, maybe one or both of you, you know, it has to do with enjoying work. Maybe you guys see each other at work, um, but you're not, con you're not in contact um, or you guys would work well together this is also the card of the family business somebody could have a family business but I feel like you know this is what somebody is working towards this like this could be you could be your person somebody here is busy achieving something and some of them some of the people watching you know you are dealing with the wealthy person or you do well you know well for yourself financially or you are the head of the household or you provide for others with this Ten of Pentacles here, you know, it is a good sign that you can achieve those things. You can achieve wealth and standing. With it coming out in the actions, um, you know, section, it's like this is already happening. This is happening. Like somebody is happy and financially stable. Somebody is wanting to start a family or does have a family that they're attending to. Um, whether that is like, you know, their um, family of origin, you know, consider like their parents and brothers and sisters. Or whether that's like a family that they have created, you know, previous perhaps to meeting you um, something like that so so what is this energy the energy is all about taking action towards achieving some sort of goal regarding um, leaving a legacy 
regarding um, getting to a position of, like of power of status of being somebody that can provide be the provider and be provided for in a very material sense as well okay and with the moon here it shows us actually he did want to come out in reverse but it felt like guided to take the moon upright this is um, the big message from Spirit. Spirit is saying to unfurl your brow, okay? So somebody out there, don't furrow your brow because that gives you wrinkles, especially if you're this boss energy. But you know what? This person, he's got wrinkles on his forehead. Looks like he's scrunching up his forehead a lot in consternation, deep thought, thinking about you, missing you. So this is saying to unfurl your brow and open your heart. That's what needs to happen here. Somebody is a little too closed off in the heart area, needs to unblock their heart chakra. Could be one or both of you. Um, there is this feeling, I feel like this is your person, like this person over here. There is ungrounded hope. That's what the moon is saying. Somebody has ungrounded hope. Could be you as well. So what that means is, you know, I don't know if they're just completely bonkers and fantasizing that they can go from like student or page status to being like, um, you know, a rich and wealthy provider of the head of the household and all of this. Um, or they're seeing you as already having that and thinking that um, that you will have that with them, whether you would, whether you would, or whether you wouldn't, right? So there's just something ungrounded about the moon here, um, ungrounded hope, and this is a mystery. So what it's telling us is the outcome will evolve over time. And if you want this person, and if you want to, you can hang in there, but make sure you're being kind to yourself and to this person when and if you see them or talk to them again. It looks like, you know, some of you will be hearing from this person again or will be in contact with them again. And just be kind to them, okay? Because this is evolving. The, the future is not set. This is still up in the air. Um, we do have that quality, quality time card there. So be the witness to each other's lives. I do, I do feel like you guys are keeping an eye on one another witnessing each other's lives and that the kind of relationship that you both would want would be one where um, you did spend quality time. That could be one or both of yours top love language, okay? So if this is sounding like you, then please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Uh, leave any comment to be entered to win a free reading from me. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with the um, True Love Confessions deck to get no contact messages from Group 3's person, please. If they had no filter, what would they say to group three? Group three's person had no filter, what would they say? You are making me long for a new beginning. So maybe you were married to this person, you had a home with them, you know, and then with 10 being a number that's a number of completion, it like ended, and then you're wanting to come back together again. They're wanting to come back with you regardless. They're dreaming about, and we got that word long, didn't we? Yeah, so for those skeptics out there, they're not longing for me. Um, we've got longing and longing twice here. This person is longing for you. If this is your reading, they're longing for you. What else would this person say? I'm so lonely. So your person's lonely. Looking like Robert De Niro from Taxi. Was it Taxi Driver? Taxi Driver. I don't think I ever saw that movie. It's kind of scary actually but I from what I can tell it gives me a scary vibe um, let me know if you've seen it down in the comment section down below if it's worth checking out but how it applies to this I'm not sure that it does it's just um, basically this is a lonely card this is lonely there's some sort of loneliness your person saying they're lonely You can be surrounded by people and still be really, really lonely. Especially if all you do is take care of others, or you know, work a lot, or just always. If you're not around, you're if you're not around people who understand you, that's a way to be lonely. You know, that's a real quick way to be lonely. For group three, what would their person say? God, I'm willing to wait for you a little bit longer, but my patience does have limits. They're letting you know they're waiting. That one that just fell out. You truly are my soulmate. You are my perfect match. Okay, so this person is longing for you, lonely for you, because and they're waiting for you because um, they feel like you're their, their perfect match. So I'm going to get a couple of cards 
from the shadow side of my deck. If you're feeling particularly sensitive or easily triggered, fast forward through this part. Because sometimes, um, while these cards add value, it can be you know, a little upsetting to not hear, like to hear the shadow side of what this person would say. I'm gonna do that though anyways today for group three. What would this person say to group three? If they had no filter. I'm still grieving over you. I wish things turned out differently. So one of the more benign of the shadow cards in this deck, they're just saying they're still grieving over you. They wish things had turned out differently, which is in alignment with, with what else had been coming out already. Something needs to be done about the third party interfering in our connection. Okay, so maybe somebody's married here. Somebody's settled down with somebody else here with this Ten of Pentacles. Um, maybe it's you. You're coming out as the boss, but uh, which is like head of household energy. Somebody here is younger with the Page of Swords. Um, either way, you know, if, if it's third party, this person's saying that something needs to be done about the third party interfering in the connection, whether that's another person, it could be work, it could be family, but third party is anything that interferes with the connection. So I've got that, and let's get some more here. Person saying something needs to be done about that. It's like they're telling you, okay? So it's interesting. Past life connection, so you know I have to pull a past life card on that. This one's also trying to come out. I'm watching from the outside, which you know we can see that. I said I thought that this was the the stalker song. It's not the stalker song, but um, I forget the name of it. And then we've got the stalker card here. This person's watching you from the outside. Let's get the past life card that is applicable to this connection to give us more information, spirit. Um, what past life did these two share? And that would be helpful for us to know about it. We got lessons and blessings. So another learning lifetime, it looks like. And we've got baby. So maybe somebody that you had a baby with, okay? Interesting. Not getting a whole lot from that. So um, you could have had a child with one another or this person, you know, you guys, you could have been their baby, they could have been your baby. There's something about lessons and blessings there. Let's see if we can get some more information. I feel like if um, you guys truly have had a past life together, you know, these two images, these two cards will speak to something within you that will make sense. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. That part of the reading's not for you, maybe, or you'll learn later how that how that resonates if it does. What else would Group 3's person say if they had no fear, no filter, please? You're juicy. <laughs> these cards are a drip. Okay, so they think that they're learning a lot. I feel like this person feels like they're learning a lot about you, that you're an interesting person. There's more to you than meets the eye. Like... They think you're you're juicy. Um, they could mean other, you know, take that how that resonates. It means something else as well. If you know, you know. And I'm into reading my horoscope now, okay? So this person, some of you might have gotten this person into reading horoscopes and they didn't before. This is just going to show that um, this person cares about, you know, learning about, like, their life and seeing things from a broader perspective using sort of like occult knowledge or just being a little bit different like you know something again i feel like that's going to resonate with you if it does and if it doesn't it doesn't i think this person just wanting to get information as much like in any way that they can regarding you and this connection and themselves as well i wish i was half the human you are these memories of you won't stop this person feeling like you are up on a pedestal and they can't stop thinking about you. I love making you laugh. You are my best friend. So thinking about the times that you made them laugh and that how you guys were so close at one time. Some of you were best friends with this person. What else would a group three's person say if they had no fear, no filter, please? You are my match in every way. So we've got that twice. 
you truly are my soulmate. You are my perfect match. You are my match in every way. This person really, like, the more that they learn about you, and maybe with absence making the heart grow fonder too, and with that dreamy moon energy, which is ungrounded hope, not saying you're not great and that you guys, like, you obviously care about this person to even be watching this, but they're, like, really putting you up on a pedestal and feeling like you are their perfect match. I'm embarrassed by my actions. I can't look you in the eye. So have they done something to be embarrassed about? Apparently they have. Maybe they're just shy. And they say they can't look you in the eye. What else? I'll wait for a sign from you. So this person's waiting for a sign from you. But their patience does have limits, they say. I replay, I replay our conversations over and over. You feel like home to me. Our connection still affects me. computer working less and having more fun will help strengthen our relationship so somehow or some way shape or form this person knows you're always on the computer you could have a desk job like that guy in the car he looks like he would be working in corporate America or at a desk um, but either way this person's like yeah which goes to show that maybe they're seeing you on social media or they're seeing you interact or something how somehow they know like at the very least that you're just working too much might be on the computer too much like they want to they want to have your focus and attention they don't want you focusing on so so many other things mastery you've learned the spiritual lesson so this person does feel like we did get lessons from pa from past life so this like this carried over these lessons and blessings carried over from a past life and on some level your person knows that um, I think the blessing was like a baby. Maybe you guys had a baby together in a past life. We did get that family card with that Ten of Pentacles. Some other lesson was needing to be learned. And it's your person saying like, you've learned the spiritual the spiritual lesson or their higher self is saying that, right? Because their higher self would be the one to say that, the one to know that, okay? And that can be a message from your guides as well. What else would this person say to group three? They had no filter. Jitter liquid. Without this, I am a subpar being. That's true. Okay. So maybe they want to get some coffee with you. Maybe that's what they're going to ask. Maybe that'll be a good thing if you're thinking about asking this person for, um, for a meetup, for a get together, to hang out, for a date. Um, and also, you know, they're just say, acknowledging that. Um, kind of like you are their stimulant like without you they're a subpar being and you would agree with them probably is what that is saying to me I'm gonna finish off with a few charms for you guys and I do feel like this person is lonely because this is I just was drawn to this I saw lonely on this card and then down here it says something about um, being lonely yeah um, yeah, must I always be alone? Yes, yes, long before I reach the phone, long before my, my tongue has tripped me, must I always be alone? So, person is feeling alone without you guys. They don't like it one bit. We've got the number 25 or the 25th of the month could have significance, could be somebody's birthday or could, um, be when you met or when you will will meet or next time you talk or hear from each other we've got I observed the event bystander did nothing so this person is you know standing by not doing anything watching you from a distance longing for you fantasizing about you admiring you um, wanting to hear from you still feeling connected to you we've got beast here okay and we've got this 
purple flip-flop. Somebody could live in a warmer climate, aspire to live in a warmer climate. But this is also purple's color of power and spirituality as well as wisdom. So I do feel this is saying like, yeah, you guys um, have learned the spiritual lesson. You have grown in wisdom in some regard. And I feel like there's going to be a holiday or some sort of a, a payoff to signify that you guys have learned the spiritual lesson. We've got, uh, <clears throat> I love horses. I always miss that little heart, okay? I love horses, but there's also a horseshoe hang dangling down here that looks like a U. So I love you, basically. Um, somebody could have a connection to horses. Be born in the Chinese zodiac year of the horse, or that's Gemini energy as well. But um, getting that, I feel like that, you know, your person's convoluted way of saying I love you, because it's not direct, but it still looks like that, you know? Who knows, maybe the person in between you, if there's somebody in between you, or you know, the business has to do with horses, something coming between the, the I and the you, the love, it is something to do with horses here. And, um, and then we've got, I care, grumpy bear. So care out loud, say it, show it, share it. Forgive a friend who is grumpy to you. So whoever was grumpy needs to be forgiven and they want to see it. They want to, um, want you to show your feelings. Um, they want to share with you. They want to, you know, share their feelings as well. I think this person maybe has, you know, acted like a grumpy bear, or like a jerk to you. And if so, whoever is acting like the beast, see how his hand is out. It's like extending their, it's extending their hand. Wants to have that hand extended, so that um, an offer can be made, so that you guys are reaching out to one another, so that contact can be made is what is coming through with that okay so this is what i've got for you group three thank you so much for tuning in i hope that was helpful if you'd like a private reading my contact contact information is in the description you can contact me through email wizio or my website otherwise thank you for tuning in like i said and i'll talk to you guys next time